Hello everyone, welcome back to X4 Foundations. I am Afro Luigi and we are back um, well away from Yaki, Yaki Space right now. We're all the way over in Split Space right now after doing the, some of the Yaki stuff. And I'm kind of disappointed because I have no way of getting my Yaki rep up. As we saw in the last episode, the Yaki don't have a wharf, so there's not a lot of trading I can do with them. So I'm uh, I'm not going to be able to get the Yaki equipment. Which is unfortunate, but we'll have to live with that. So we're going to be destroying the Yaki at some point in the future. But in the meantime, I have the entire Separatist fleet ready. I've already got the one ship there. Let's grab all these Dragon Raiders we have conveniently docked there. And deploy them over here. Let's actually make sure I don't, I'm not missing anything. Uh, we have one Rattlesnake check and we have ten Dragon Raiders check. So they should all be coming out to dock and launching in a minute. Uh, it, uh, we're gonna need another, there's going to be another wave, apparently. There we go. Away they go. Next two are on their way. <laughs> that poor pillager raider there. Hopefully they don't decide to uh, attack my ships, although they don't have any cargo. Raider, if, you don't, if you're not traveling with any cargo, your ship's pretty safe from pirates. Oh, another thing I did off camera is while we had the Yaki cover device, I went and dropped navigation satellites in all the t sectors we're going to be terraforming. So Frontier, all, all the Xenon type sectors are going to be terraforming, Atea's Misfortune, etc, etc, Scale Plate Pact. This way when it comes time to terraform, I can just drop the headquarters in, blitz the terraforming mission projects we need, and we'll be good to go. Actually, how is my... I, I did some modifications to my headquarters. How's that coming along? Okay, it's all, that, that's all done. Perfect. What's that? Oh, those are some Terran vessels. And there's my cat meowing in the distance. Is he seriously... Flying towards all my dragon raiders. Is he pursuing them? I shouldn't be. <coughs> Sorry about that. Perform a transfer. There we go. Let's take uh, on the seat. Out of my seat, Elena. Hello. There we go. Excellent. Pilot a 10 curve announcement now. Oh, I'm going to need some space caviar. That's easy to get, though. Wait till you see how much uh, um, space fly eggs I have at my headquarters. It's um, a little silly. You'll see in a minute. Entering system. Grand exchange. Come on, let me take control, let me take control. It's still loading is what's going on here. And my, my, my cat wants something. He's already been fed. This litter, litter box is clean. If he wants attention, he's going to have to come down and get it. Whoa, what's up? <laughs> is that how Boso T poses? <laughs> I think that's how Boso T poses. So we want uh, 25 spaceflight eggs for our carrier. Yeah, I have over uh, almost 200 spaceflight eggs. Down to 150 now, though. Uh, actually, let's go have a look at my... Uh, uh, I haven't had a close look at the Terran... I don't have any Terran blueprints yet, so I can't actually produce any ships. Although... Oh, that's the mining vessel that's docking to uh, pick up some Navidium to sell. Oh uh, yeah, this thing's basically the same model as the... Uh... Now, where am I delivering this stuff to? Entering system, art of acrimony. Auto 
Away we go. Engaged. Accelerator. Part of Agramani. This is going to be my first time doing the uh, curb the side of the story. So I'm curious to see what's about to happen. Apparently, we actually lose family Zyars as a uh, as a faction. They're replaced with um, one of the R, one of the families, split families that start with an R, I think. Don't think it's Ryak, because Ryak was the split family in X Rebirth, the one that was hiding out in Maelstrom. Entering Art of Acrimony 1, the Boneyard. Autopilot engaged. Dragon Raider. No, why is no that that's because the last I had the last with the map open too. Autopilot disengaged. No. Raptor. Docking queued. Are those guys docking before me? Are we going to be waiting in line? Oh yeah, that guy is slowly Dragon queuing Raider. up to dock. Whoa, I'm right up against that thing, ain't I? Am I under it now? Oh, I was uh, above it before. If this guy doesn't, if this guy takes too much longer to uh, dock, I'm just going to uh, EVA my way over. Oh, it looks like he's slowly coming into dock. Yeah, I'm going to spacesuit this up. That's going to take forever. Katana. Raptor. Now, where is the docking bay on this thing for the spacesuits? Oh, uh, I think... Oh, I see it. Yeah, there it is. Right behind the bridge. The very Star Destroyer-esque bridge. I really like this throne room, though. Pilot, welcome and thanked for service. I brought the caviar. Split accept offering. Together, we achieve greatness. Time to declare our legitimacy and worth to all. Free families and sire tyranny will learn. A proud free families patriarch failed to expel sire tyranny. Invader of free families' economy, enforcer of slave rights against split culture, confiscator of assets in unjust trials. Quarreling families felt to gather enough forces. Brave patriarchs died in fires of defeat. Patriarchy ways failed us, split families still quarreling. Split, see this before. Patriarch Gustigold, see this. Patriarchs alone always fail us. We are your curves decreed by Gustigult. Curves destroy occupiers unjust tribunal. Curves muster the fleets of all free families, quarreling or not. Join a curb rebellion. Fulfill will of Gus. 
victory to Curves! I don't believe it. They've done it! The Court of Curves has just declared its independence. Oh, look at uh, Oh, they haven't flipped over yet. Katana. Docking aborted. Raptor. Oh, well, they just left us behind. They just left Nazare behind. Uh, let's see what's going on here, though. Requesting permission to dock. Uh, did just the one thing flip? I guess it did. Rattlesnake. Accelerate rattlesnake. Oh, there's actually a full on fight going on. So, you know what? We are going to, um,. Wait this out in the far corners of the boneyard. We're just going to fly way out there. Engaged. And while this is going on, because we're just tech, the way we're I'm role playing this is we're technically the instigators of chaos. We don't actually want to be involved in any of these wars. We're just trying to weaken all the factions. Once we're well away from there. So I next thing I do, um, I want to continue on with the Yaki story since I'm not going to be able to get the Yaki ships. I have a rattlesnake parked right there. I, it's my personal rattlesnake, it's called Striker. And we are going to take it on our offensive to destroy the Yaki. But first things of course, we are going to report into Delilah. All units engage. Today slip in this terrorism. Auto. Okay, while that's going on, let's teleport where to the um I do have a Falks now, I'm using it kind of to as a recruiting station. I Entering tend to keep it on the wharf. Song. Oh, come on, loading, loading, there we go. I keep it on the wharf. Most of the time, I keep it on the wharf. And basically, uh, as when my ship, uh, after boarding operation, if I take any casualties, I replenish them here. That's the wrong place I wanted to go to. That's better. Man, those guns are clustered quite tightly on the Falks, aren't they? Anyways, let's go talk to Delilah. About the Yaki. So, what's the status of the investigation? I have reached a conclusion. Excellent. Then tell me, are these Yaki an organized threat to the Protectorate? Do they have a base of operations that we can target? Yes, they do. I, and I have located their headquarters. Outstanding work, Operative. I will relay this intel to intervention right away. Those overblown grunts will finally see the importance of the work we do. If you want to participate, you better prepare for action. Once the Protectorate forces are underway, I'll mark their position for you. <laughs> nice choice. Those Yaki won't know what hit them. No, I mean it. They have no idea what you just did. And I'm certainly not going to tell them. Oh, that upcoming invasion will be the perfect opportunity to take down the amplifier station. Ooh, I've almost got 30 rep with the uh, Terrans. So, I am going to send the Falks 
back to the wharf. I'll wait for you to tell me to take off. There. While we're waiting, let's jump back over to the Nazarene and see what's going on over here. Entering system. Another thing, Operative. Intervention has gracefully provided us with a military asset. Should we deign to support their upcoming operation? A discommissioned model by the looks of it. It may require a few finishing touches to become fully functional again. But I'm sure you can make use of it. I'll What's transmit the... the ship's location to you. Consider it a reward for your efforts. Ooh, is this where they give me the, uh, sin? Ah oh, yeah, Delilah's song, swan song. So let's grab that that Falx and turn around and go get it. Falx. Entering system. Song. Sin. Uh, they're just giving us a sin. I was kind of hoping with going with this route they'd give us something a bit bigger, but... Oh, uh, I'll accept the sin. you. <laughs> there it is. Hello. Fox. Helps if I mute myself. Uh, so there we go. We have the um, Delilah Swan Song claimed. Now let's uh, go get it some crew. Uh, do 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 do. do. Entering asteroid belt. Basically, gonna grab. Uh, trying to look for someone, but it doesn't look like anyone's spawning. Uh, yeah, I'm going to wait to find someone. Let's do. I'll do that off camera. Looking for crew is not very interesting on camera. Well, we have it claimed, so we'll leave it there for now, as we're going to be using Striker anyways to go in with the intervention force. And actually, we'll probably go in and do most of the work ourselves. So while we're waiting for that, let's jump back over to the Nazare and uh, have a look at what's going on over in Split Space. Entering system, part of Acrimony. Oh, more systems have flipped. We got two curved sectors now. Oh, that's a curb one too. How's this one? Oh, curb defense platform. Oh, right, this is technically, this is gonna be technically contested because of the Hall of Judgment. I might have to go in there with something that can blow with a mining station. This is also this is also gonna be a contested state sector because of the damn Tilati defense post they set up in there. And of course, the um, Xenon station's there. Oh, 
No, where's the ravenous white? Oh, there it is. Rattlesnake. Oh, that's the rattlesnake. Where, 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 where? Did they lose it? Oh, yeah, it got blown up by the uh, Zyreth, apparently. I did get just get a message just now. In an unprecedented development, the so-called curves of the split free families have conspired to create a separatist movement. These former advisors to the patriarchs and other high-ranking officials have attempted to coup against their own leaders. Their declared aim is to unite the free families' forces and fight back against Zyreth's patriarchy occupation. The curves invoke Gus de Gult, the historical uh, split patriarch who brought their role into uh, being in order to curb the notorious male split enth enthusiasm what a euphemism there and improve political decision making while some split families still adhere to this custom others have long abandoned it being involved in and in many cases responsible for various administration functions within the free families has made it possible for the curbs to attempt this coup the creation of a new splinter group within the split have taken the other members of the community planets by surprise the Argonne Federation, currently at war with the Zyreth Patriarchy over the enslavement of their citizens, has not yet taken any official stance towards this new faction. They cannot officially support this movement because of those same enslavement issues, but off the record, they appear to welcome this progressive break, break from split tradition and seem hopeful that it could be the beginning of a shift or schism in split culture. In the long term, a split population ruled by an all-female court could be expected to be a better negotiating partner than the current Patriarch Zyarth. Aaron Elba, Foreign Affairs Correspondence Galnet. Have they been the same one doing the other Galnet posts? Or have that's the first Galnet post I've seen? That looks like it's going to be the first Galnet post I've seen. So, while we're waiting for the uh, split intervention core... Actually, what's going on with the split of the Aki? Yeah, time until next invasion attempt. Oh, next invasion attempt. Countdown, I'm not seeing. No, I'm not. So, meanwhile, while that's going on, let us go talk to Dal about um, this opportunity of a lifetime. Let's get the parent admission st chain started. Entering system. Grand exchange. Come on, let's get this loaded. There we go. How's it going? Aaron and Civil War. Uh, you mentioned the Paranid? Actually, they mentioned you. We're only a few jumps away from Paranid space, and this station's comms module is unlike anything I've come across. I believe I already mentioned several times that this outpost was abandoned by the Terrans. A civilization so unfathomably advanced and ingenious that they managed to nearly wipe themselves out on multiple occasions. It is paramount that we explore its integrated functions carefully, delicately, and most of all, cautiously. Naturally, I had to put its capabilities to the test. <laughs> As it turns out, the God Realm and the Holy Order frequently and openly accuse one another of corrupting each other's citizens. However, they're surprisingly reluctant to condemn independent individuals, much less those who simply want the best of both worlds. If you know what I'm saying. Yeah, okay. Yeah, get to it, Dal. There's more to this whole civil war thing than meets the eye. For whatever reason, those parents don't seem to view you as an intruder. And that, my friend, is an opportunity if I've ever seen one. Of course, those uptight zealots might change their mind once you start snooping around. Hopefully we can mitigate that risk by knowing where to stick our noses and where not to stick them from the start. Luckily, I have an informant who might be able to point us in the right direction. What do I need to do? It's only one system away. Meeting point under the highway where we used to trade gossip about the local syndicates. Don't be put off by her unconventional demeanor. Right, we're exactly quick to trust people, but once you pass muster, she'll be your most dependable ally. Other than? Other than me, of course. Hmm, the Nazare is quite far away, and I do want to do this. Let's take a minute. To, let's take a minute to Raider. I don't think I've ever flown one before. Minotaur, Raider. Hello. Autopilot engaged. As you can see there, I have one of my spare rattlesnakes guarding the headquarters station. 
Yeah, I don't think I've ever actually flown a Minotaur Raider before, so we'll take it, see how it does against uh, for this little part of the plot. After establishing their territory with their initial declaration, the Curbs are rallying support to fight the Zyrath Patriarchy. While the Curbs themselves are giving speeches to win over split hearts and minds, the devoted followers are being asked to contribute financially. If we can add a significant contribution to their funds, they will be able to end patriarchy policing of free family sectors. 400 million! Oh god, that's gonna be a while to save up for that. So yeah, that's gonna be a little while. So that's not gonna happen for a while, but I will do that on camera. So, uh, let's do that one. Autopilot. Engaged. Jump gate. No, I'm definitely not used to how slow this thing is. Man, is it slow. Mind you, I've been spoiled by the katana. I've definitely been spoiled by that thing. Entering system. Nobilia's fortune. I only got two guns. Hopefully that'll be enough to deal with, um, what's her face? Gridey, I think. Or Gride. Entering Nobilia's fortune. Two. Autopilot. Engaged. An arena, gas, minotaur, raider. Oh, there's another minotaur I could go over and capture. Uh, I don't like capturing things without the katana anyway, so I'll leave it. It's not bothering my ships. Actually, I think that's the ship that actually has been bothering my traders in this sector. Wait, is that AFK? It's AFK 991. <laughs> uh, wow, okay. I kind of regret not going to capture that thing now, though. that ship. Oh. oh! I've never done that before. Not too late now. Defense drone. Uh, the self-destruct sequence was just a diversion. Hostile drones approaching fast. Nice confidential chat. How much would you be willing to sacrifice? Watch out! There are more of 
where? How curious. It appears these drugs have been tinkered with. Someone really likes their explosives. Better keep your distance. Oh, come on. That's enough. My friend here doesn't deserve this kind of treatment. I'll release your friend seems reasonably competent. Competent enough to run a small errand for me. I seem to remember you came here to ask questions about the Paranid. I'll answer two questions of yours. We'll call it an advanced payment. Choose your questions wisely. Um, what drives the Paranid? Someone looking at it from the outside can easily come to the conclusion that Silver War is a natural state for the Paranid society. It almost seems like some sort of expression of their psyche, always questioning and challenging one another's beliefs. Nothing could be further from the truth, however. What they so desperately want to resolve is what to them is an almost tangible geometric impossibility. Namely, there being two pontifices. The situation is utterly strange, tearing at their stoic demeanor and ruining their perception of their own culture. It's an aberration in history that needs to be erased at all costs. What will the war achieve? To an outsider, it might seem as though this war has just been going back and forth with no prospect of a resolution. That's not an entirely inaccurate assessment, but it's not the whole picture. It's no accident that the military supplies for this conflict have become one of the safest investments at the end of this gate network. You see, the two factions aren't really fighting over territory or resources. In the minds of their leaders, elimination of their opponents would actually be a tragic outcome. That's because they're fighting for the hearts and minds of their people. If one Pontifex backs down, even just a little, he'd be sacrificing his legitimacy. I imagine they must be quite desperate for an outside solution by now. All this interrogation is making me dreadfully tired. We'll get your answers eventually, don't you worry. Now, about that little errand I mentioned. You should receive your instructions right about now. Alright, with that I'm going to end the episode here. I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, actually, yeah, and I'll get a crew for the Delilah, and I'll get the Delilah Swan Song set up. And I'm going to kill time until the uh, inv next invasion starts. And then we'll queue back in with me jumping forward for that. And I'm also going to start saving up for the 400 million that the uh, curbs want. Bye.